today finds us in northern Argentina, readying to explore its largest lake, called Vilama. The biggest unknown is just how deep the lake is. It covers 24 square miles, but could be a giant shallow mirror. We're here right at the triangle where Bolivia and Chile and Argentina join. This is the high altiplano. We're actually standing in Argentina. We're going to drag the boats across this dry lake in front of us, up over a little hill and to a lake that's filled with how many flamingos do we see there? I think about 10,000. So 10,000 or more flamingos, hopefully a few of them will still be there when we arrive. All uh, right, here we go. Well, we're, we're walking over in, encrusted salt and, and sand, mostly, mostly salt. Uh, it looks like this lake's been dry for, for a while. There's little puddles here. We've got a little stream to port ahead of us. One small limitation is we're at 14,200 feet, so <laughs> anything we do requires a, a, just an ounce more uh, uh, exuberance. But so far, so good. I mean, the great thing is it's flat. Actually, we've got uh, wind gusting like 16 miles an hour, but it's mostly at our back. We're in this kind of nice flat salt crust. No big complaint. Uh, the big test is going to be to see how much water there is, if any. It's a possibility we'll stick the boats in, in three inches of water and be uh, submerged, but uh, we'll know soon. Just added two more records to our own personal record book. Uh, highest paddle, 14,200 feet. Shallowest, maybe, I don't know, four inches. It probably doesn't even really qualify as a paddle. It's too bad because it would have been a beautiful paddle if, if we had another half foot of water. But everyone we've talked to on the route out here says that these lakes are shrinking over the last decade or so, so we're not too surprised. 